What's going on, Aries? We're checking the energy. Let's see who's in it. Let's see what's going on. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you purchased the reading or donated to my page, I'm so grateful. If you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. Let's see who's in your energy, Aries. All right. Whoever this person is, you may have thought that this would be someone that you would be with forever, um, that you saw a future with this person with, right? You felt like this person could be your end-all, be-all, um, but this person may have ended up choosing a different path, okay? So Aries, if this is not your energy, it could be someone in it, okay? So put the energy wherever you need to. <clears throat> someone may have thought, you know, this is my person. Um, I don't have to look anymore. I don't have to date anymore. I don't have to give anyone else a shot because this person right here is who I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. And then someone up and abruptly chose a different path. And now whoever that person is that, that chose that different path is regretting what they've done. Uh, they feel like they chose the wrong person. They may have had um, a lot of reasons why they chose this person, but I feel like they know not only are you um, the person that they did not choose was way smarter. Um, they moved a little bit different um, and they made the best types of decisions, right? Uh, when it comes to intimacy, um, they have things that they've done to, uh, to this energy that um, they felt was very, uh, <laughs> very aggressive um, or very, um, yeah, they, they had like an expertise and some, areas you know they're very talented and, and that's all i'm gonna say about that one um but yeah they they are lacking that i feel like whoever they went to they may have done certain things uh, for a little bit of time and then they cut it off and this was their way of getting your person to act right um or a person to act right take how it resonates okay so somebody here um made a choice you know, now their pride is in it. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me the cards. Um, their pride, their pride is is such a you know I can't, you know, um, put put my emotions on on my sleeve. I can't do that, right? This person is afraid to take an action or to let someone know how they feel because they feel like someone's going to embarrass them or they're going to have some shame. Also, with the union that they went to, whoever this person is that they chose over the other one. That person has been saying, you know what? I'm going to tell all your dirty little secrets to anyone that'll listen. You go ahead and you try me. You go right on ahead. You try me and you're going to see, right? So this person is saying, you know what? This is my comfort zone. You know, the demon that you know is better than the demon you don't know. So I might as well just do what I need to do where I'm at. You know, am I happy with where I am? No, I'm not. You know, I do struggle with being vulnerable. I do struggle with um, letting people know how I'm feeling. Uh, but the person on my mind was truly a gift. I do recognize how much of a gift they were to me. I know uh, that I did them dirty. Here's that regret. I should not have treated them that way. I should not have spoken to them that way. You know, and I should have let them know um, that I was moving more independently and not of that relationship with them. I should have let them know the truth that um, I was not trying to be in anything that was serious with them because I was already in something else uh, with another person. Um, I know that I have um, ruined this person in the sense of um, they were just finally getting to a place of being able to trust other people. But now based on how I've treated them, part of this regret um, that I'm feeling is that I have gave given them further trust issues um, than what they had already healed uh, before. Okay, so now because of how they were treated, it's a person here uh, that really doesn't trust, you know, people like they used to. They feel really insecure when it comes to unions or uh, giving someone a shot. 
And that's really what happens, right? When you when you give yourself to someone else um, and that person like shuts the door on you or they blindside you in some way, you know, the, the motivation to be in something else that would give you that level of intensity or that level of pain, it really gets to you to the point where you're saying, you know what, it's not important to me. I don't ever want to feel that way again so because I don't want to feel that way you know I'm not going to deal with it now here's that embarrassment that I was talking about just a minute ago someone here is saying you know what I don't want to be embarrassed because I didn't make an action towards the right person I did not let this uh, relationship bloom into something else now this person has turned their back on me they're still maybe in emotions but this person is in emotions because they had someone in a one-sided relationship while they dealt with other people, someone here was waiting for them to reach out to them, to reach out uh, and be in something committed with them. And I feel like this went on forever. Okay. Um, the energy of this person, they feel like they're being forced to stay in a situation that they're in um, because someone has all the receipts. Someone saying, you don't want this to go left with me. You don't want me to tell what I know about you or the things that you've done. You don't want this to get out. So I suggest you sit down and do what you need to do, right? So this person feels like there's a lot that the world doesn't know. Um, they're trying to protect their image, protect their um, their money as well, I'm feeling. Um, and yeah, you know, I feel like this person is saying, you know what? You know, this didn't go down the way that I, I really thought that it would go down, but I'm trying to make the best out of it that I can now. Um, but I do see, you know, either Aries or Aries, this may be you. I do see the person that's on my mind in a different light and I am regretful. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this person here is learning lessons and they understand that they put someone in a one-sided opportunity. So in other words, somebody did not get all the love, care, and nurturing that they put out. There was no reciprocity. And someone here is understanding their role in, in a, a relationship or situationship breakdown. Okay, yep, thank you. Their intuition is working. Their intuition is letting them know, like, you know what, what this was. You know what, what, um, what you did. You know how you've gotten to this point right? You know what you've done to be here, um, someone is saying to this person, right? Um, this person may be paying attention to divination as well, okay? So if you're here with me, you know, are you a cross watcher? That could be you. Take it how it resonates, but, but this person is uh, changing in some ways. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of arrogance here um, with this person, and the arrogance, and thank you, Aries, for coming through in your own reading. Um, the arrogance here would be, would be, um, the arrogance here would be, um, and I say, I say arrogance in Aries because er there, there's, there's a level of, and um, please forgive me, guys. I'm not trying to bash Aries. I love Aries. I'm Aries, uh, Aries Mars, um, but there's a level of um aggressiveness or arrogance sometimes with Aries because they are so they feel like they're superior to other signs okay um and and it's just the way that they are you know a lot of times you know they could be you know a little boisterous a little loud uh, you know sometimes they just stand out in the crowd a lot and some you know I'm not saying that that's a bad thing uh, but it could be looked looked upon in a certain way um, sometimes. And that's not with every Aries, um, but I am seeing that energy come through this reading. Now, we have Taurus here. Somebody could be in a relationship with a Taurus or someone with that energy. Um, this could be something that the person went away to and they may have said, you know what? You know, I, I do miss the person that I was with. I do regret coming over here and giving this person a shot or, or being in this energy. Um, but there's really nothing that I can do about it right now. You know, I got to sit here because this is my comfort zone. I got to do what I need to do. There's nothing that I could do about the predicament or the situation that I put myself in. 
because the person that I'm with, they do have all the receipts and I don't want that smoke. I don't want them telling people, you know, my business and I don't want people to be looking at me in a different light. So someone here is dealing with that as well. Okay, so someone here is in a non think spirit is giving me this card in reverse, even though it's not in reverse. Spirit is giving me that somebody here is in a, a marriage or a commitment, but it's not typical. Um, and they are special rules that two people are dealing with um, that most people in this world would not be okay with. And I don't know what that means because Spirit is not giving it to me. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to tell you that's what I'm feeling. Okay. So this person has been dealing with a lot of bad luck. Um, a lot of aggression from external forces. Um, they've been dealing with a lot of disruption in their life and delays. Um, and they feel like making the decision that they made um, with choosing the person that they've chosen um, has been very detrimental in their lifestyle. Okay. So they feel like their luck went south when they chose uh, the person that they chose. And they see that they are no, they were not able to have a person that would offer nurturing or, or, or um, love or even uh, sincerity, right? They're not getting that like they were getting from the previous person. Um, I feel like, you know, they can see the difference between um, the two people that they've been dealing with or, or the two, um, two women or two men that were in their life. And now what they felt like they needed before is no longer as important as it used to be. They now feel like they need the other side that they possibly rejected before. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing um, uh, Taurus energy, Cancer energy. Um, High Priestess energy for me would be like Pisces, Cancer uh, energy. Um, even a little bit of Virgo here and there for me as a reader. Um, yeah. And we have the wheel, okay? So taking a chance, this is a number one. Um, that would be a new beginning. Um, but someone feels like the new beginning that they made uh, or they started really went um, in the wrong direction, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and light, you guys. Take care.